<clears throat> Good morning. Today this Hello there, this is Trafalgar Valentine. How's it going today? Today I'll be doing the like car drawing. This is from the interesting animation series Rick and Morty. This is um Jerry's truck that he uses. Um that's all Mad Max styled up and like built up for a zombie apocalypse. It's an awesome truck to draw. It's quite complicated as well with a few bits and pieces, but it's it's pretty badass. So I'm just gonna start off with some rough shapes to start off with. So it's like a van shape. It's covered in corrugated iron and knives and lots of other details. So here's some corrugated sheets across. Then the bodywork comes up. This is an open door. Back down. Large window there. Going into some more detail, just want to do these shapes. This would be the windscreen. Has a roof rack with lots of supplies on. There's four headlights on top. And then the front is like this cool plow, it looks like a front of a steam engine. So it's got these grills coming down. Okay, some more details. The front plow is tied on with this bit of rope that hangs there. Then there's a chain that comes from this end of the corrugated iron up to there. Another chain comes across here. Corrugated iron just runs across and slight angle this side just because it's bent. Got the wheels which you can barely see underneath here and here. Okay, you have to see that you can't really see that very well. I'm trying to go into pens just so you can see this a bit more. One second. Okay, so the rope that I've just drawn, it's got this metal frame here. It's tied on with a knot. So I'll just draw that around. And then for this rope effect, I'm just doing diagonal lines going across there. Okay, so we've got one chain going across the bonnet here and it comes back down just do the line for the front plow and um, see the corrugated iron on the side so it's just got these dents on the side zigzagging lines I'm just doing some lines going across. Try not to make it too heavy. Sometimes even just doing dashes across. Give the indication of the folded metal. Then there's another chain going up here. So for a chain I'm just doing I might actually zoom in so you can see a bit better. Okay, so for the chain design, I'm just doing little circles going up. This comes right up to the roof rack. Just like so. Then for this corrugated iron, it's bent a little bit slightly upwards. So I can line down across. Come here. That's got some holes on it. Going across there. 
then there's one chain that comes from here down Okay, I'll finish off in a moment. The on this cow grade iron is this metal frame which makes shifts for a door, so it looks like it's from an old gate or something. This links to that chain that did before. That comes down. Then it's got it's cross hatched across. Then this is where the old door would have come from. At the top here, I've noticed there's an old gate frame, it looks like. And it comes down and curls up. The photo reference I'm using comes actually from the actual episode. What episode is it? I can't quite remember. It's one with the. Uh, <laughs> All the creatures turn into weird zorbazoid creatures or whatever, I'm not sure, I can't remember the name, but... So that's the gate bit going around. Um, let's do the windscreen maybe. It's got bars going across it. So just going up, just like so. Then now from the bars across, we're just going to do a line for a window. I'm just going to do a second line on the inside here. This come back up like so. I'm just notice it's got a big metal frame on top that comes right down these edges. Got a lot of rope here, so I'm just gonna do some rope marks. Go around like so. And this pole comes up, sticks up a little bit there. Right across. This comes the entire frame of the actual car. On the roof, it's got these straps that come down. And we've got a, a green duffel bag. But everyone else is thinking like me, when's the next season coming out? I watched uh, not so long ago, maybe just a few weeks ago, and I've already seen the first and second season like five, four or five times. It's really funny to watch, and I think it's just amazing, all these different places that they go, and all these different creatures and stuff. It just opens up the creativity and stuff. So I'm just doing some headlights on the top. Spotlights. Okay, um, let's do this back section. It's quite layered in a lot of different things, all these different chunks of iron and stuff. So we'll go through it all slowly and surely. This chain comes down, touches there. Just like so. And it's got these hinges attached onto the metal pole in the back. So sort of like a, a full vehicle cage, which is pretty interesting. Then there's a this line comes to the door frame on here. So it's like a double frame actually added onto it. Then you've got the rear you got the rear window behind here 
So you've got the corrugated iron, then the chain, then this frame, then this frame. Never knew it would be so complicated. This is crossed as well. This comes up, little line. Okay, it's starting to look pretty nice. Um, underneath all this big mass of metal, there is the little wheel. Just there. Then there's a little frame at the bottom. Okay, now let's start with a bit more complicated than the front. So we've got um, quite a thick, heavy knife here that sticks out, that's jagged. Then we've got the edge of the plough. Sort of V-shape in the centre. Okay, first bend. Then the second one has got three knives in it. So we'll just do one come up here, one sticking out. Some of these knives have handles, some of them are more machete shapes. Look like just loose blunt objects sometimes, but others like actual saw that's been bolted to the front. Then there's one knife that overlaps it on the top. Sorry if my terminology is a bit wrong about drawing. It's just a uh, I never went to art school or anything like that, so I'm just learning as I go along. And I don't use the correct terms for things, but yeah, that's for professionals to reference, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so here's a centre, the plough. I'll add some more colour to this and you'll be able to see a bit more what's what and some more shading and stuff. At the moment it looks a bit fizzy. There's a, a fork knife at the top. And this is a, a very long knife on this side. It sticks right out. Okay, and one more knife this side. Okay, I'll just go into some more black here just so you can see the knives a bit better. Okay, there's one knife there, one knife there. That this side is a bit more complicated. So got one knife sticking up. There's another jagged one, but on the top side. One here, one jagged behind it. And then there's another chunky one this side. We'll join these lines up at the bottom. The vents I've done on the um, on the front, these ones are slightly larger, these ones will be slightly smaller, just because of their perspective. Okay, that's pretty much getting there. Now for this wheel. Again, just a small little stubby wheel. It's got a spotlight on the front. There is some knives on the side, but this screenshot doesn't show any. Maybe, uh, maybe that's a different video, different section of the video. Maybe this is earlier part. I'm not sure. I know this is from the episode and stuff. I can't remember. It still looks pretty good. 
Just doing details in this chain. Okay, I'll probably finish this chain in time lapse and then do some shading and then I'll probably just go into what uh, what I did and stuff. I might just uh, do some purple shading just on here. so I think that's all finished now I've just done um, a few bits and pieces here and there Enjoy the time I use fine liners just to create the solid lines such as the blood the some of the grey tones as well brown and the rust just filled in a lot of the gaps just with the uh, pencil just going over it kind of creating a dark effect right across like an even tone going over um, with the biro as well just like the feathering across some purple fine liner just general stuff you can kind of figure out quite simply so we're going to some white highlights just on some areas maybe some on the bars at the front Like so, I might do a few lines on this knives, just to bring it out some more. Maybe some across here, some on the chain. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, yeah, watch Rick and Morty, I really recommend it. It's, if you like things like a finished time or regular show, stuff where things get really banane, I recommend it. It's a good show to watch. Can't wait for the next season's come, come out. Might draw Rick's spaceship as well. I quite like doing vehicles from uh, Rick and Morty. Especially this one, this one's so awesome. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Back to the video. Thank you.